Australia is rapidly tightening monetary policy like much of the developed world to tame an inflationary surge brought on by the tremendous stimulus of the epidemic and supply chain disruptions. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has driven up energy prices and China's recurrent lockdowns to prevent viral outbreaks have contributed to the price shock. In this video, we'll examine whether the Reserve Bank of Australia's hike doesn't look bad for the labour market. So, let's begin. The Reserve Bank of Australia decided to raise the target cash rate by 50 basis points to 1.85%. 50 basis points also increase the interest rate on exchange settlement balances to 1.75%. RBA prioritised bringing inflation back to the 2 to 3 percentage range over time while maintaining a stable economy. Governor of the Reserve Bank of Australia, Philip Lowe, said that the road to achieving this equilibrium is treacherous and uncertain, not the least because of events on a global scale. The Australian economy is anticipated to rise substantially again this year before slowing down later, he continued. Strong job growth, resilient consumer spending and increased business investment are all current trends. Trade growth, which is at an all-time high, is also contributing to increased national income. According to the bank's main projection, the GDP will expand by 31.4% in 2022 and by 13.4% in the next two years. Interestingly though, after the rate hike, Bloomberg reported that following the rate hikes, consumer confidence in Australia fell as dropping home values, rising interest rates and soaring inflation dampened household expectations. But does it look that bad? Well, let's explore. The decline in sentiment coincides with home prices in Australia reversing gains from the pandemic era amid rising mortgage repayments. With the sub-index time to buy a big household item falling 8.4%, Australian consumers' view of the economy's prospects for the upcoming 12 months deteriorated significantly. Surprisingly, there has been little deterioration in respondents' confidence in the labour market, with a smaller proportion anticipating that the current 3.5% unemployment rate will increase from its 48-year low. A further drop in unemployment is anticipated over the coming months and job openings as well as advertisements are both at extremely high levels. In addition, when economic growth slows, an increase in unemployment is anticipated. According to the bank's projection, the unemployment rate is expected to be about 4% at the end of 2024. Consumer confidence may have reached the 2008-2009 financial crisis level, but one should remember in these times that we're experiencing now, inflation has been caused by many external factors, unlike the 2008-2009 crisis caused by the failure of a financial institution. The labour market is proving itself in high inflation times. Please like, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. I'm Sage, reporting for Kalkine Media.